I mean, I, I can explain how to force a garbage dump. Um, so I, I have one set up already, but uh, I can just show you. Uh, let's use these boulders here as an example. You hit I on your keyboard, and that'll open up a zone. You make a zone. Okay. Uh, ideally, you want to make one that's just two squares wide. Uh, if you make it longer, you can hit X to remove some of the zones. Okay. Once you've made the zone, you then select it with the I key still open. And then you hit uh, D, garbage dump, right? Then what you do is you hit, you, you exit out of that by hitting escape. And then you hit D, B, and that'll give you reclaim, forbid, melt, remove, dump, remove, dump, hide, and unhide items options. Hit D for dump. And then select the items that you wish to have dumped. And they will take those items and get them. If you accidentally select something you don't want dumped, hit Shift D for capital D, and then you can remove the dump. Another thing that you can do is if you make your dumping zone, say, just one tile over a drop. So if I can find a hole to here, say. So this is an open space, a big old pit. If I do this, and I made this into a garbage dump, then they would run over to the garbage dump and throw it off the edge down into the pit. This is also useful if you want to um, put something underneath a drawbridge that is raised. Um, then they will put it underneath the drawbridge, and then you can collapse the drawbridge to crush them. It's also useful for chucking stuff into lava. Or putting something somewhere specific, like let's just say a corpse, if you would like to come back and res it later. Um, and yeah, that, that's, that's, that's how you make a garbage dump. Also, uh, if you want to keep the, the garbage dump there, but you want them to stop bringing it to that one, maybe you want to use a different garbage dump, uh, hit A on it, and it'll cease being active.